Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Thunder by Reynolds Bags. This is the newest bag from Reynolds. I got it in a few weeks ago, been throwing it for a while. I'm going to go ahead and break this bag down, and I'll tell you what I learned out about these Thunders. We'll start with materials. Slow side. This is that R carpet. Same slow side you find on the Viper R, the Swagbacks Chaos, the Killabees Armite, Underworld Clones, the AR Rippers. Uh, there's quite a few bags out there that use this material. It's a very... It's a very uh, forgiving material. It's a People like it. Players like it because you have a lot of control with it, but it's very hole friendly for the control that you have. It kind of gives you that control of a carpet, of a traditional carpet bag, but the whole friendliness of a non-carpet bag. And that's it, it, it's a hybrid material. It's it's partially carpet, partially non-carpet. That's what makes it a hybrid material. That's where you get those kind of the, the best of both worlds with it. I call it a five speed. Brand new, it's going to play quicker, close to a six. But as you break it in, it starts to fuzz up. It slows down. I, I, to me, it plays like a five. Some people call it a five and a half. But somewhere between that five and six speed rates, which you're going to get on this material. Fast side. This is the Pro Sniper, Viper, Deadhead fast side. It's a nine speed. It's fast. It's great for pushing, collecting. Slides under boarding conditions. It's actually the it's the it's the backside of what Reynolds uses on the Pro X. The Pro X uses the game changer surefire side of its material. They flip it over and use this Pro Sniper side, Viper side of it for the Thunder here. This is actually the same exact material combinations that you find on the Viper R or the AAR Rippers, Swag Max Chaos, Kill Me's Army, all, all those bags. They use this exact same material combination on there. Template wise, this is a this is a medium template bag, but it is a fuller bag as far as the fill in here. It it has it has some flop. It is not overly floppy. I will say flop is a very subjective term. It's it's kind of based on what you compare it to. In fact, I had a discussion with someone just this past week about a, 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 about the flop and how you know and and for me when I when I talk about flop of bag, I'm comparing this to other bags, similar bags, same materials. These two materials are pretty loose, fairly floppy materials. And so typically the bags like that you get with with these materials are on the floppier side. Like the Viper R is very sloppy, very floppy bag. And, and this is definitely a fuller version of that bag. Now part of the there's a couple reasons for the full of fullness. One is the fill. Reynolds uses a it's a it's a mixed fill in this bag. It, it's a fill that I don't I think Reynolds says that it's they created just for this bag. It's not the same fill they use in other bags. That it's it's a mix between beads and flat fill. I don't feel any flat disc in here. So when you've got you know this flat disc or this really flat like a like a like a plate. This has the flat fill, which is a bead that's been kind of squashed, and then a round bead fill. So you've got more volume, more thickness to the fill, which gives you more volume in the bag, gives you that fuller feeling. The only thing I noticed when I have these bags brand new, typically these materials brand new are on the floppier side, looser side. This bag was a little stiffer than I expected, and I think it's because the the liner they use on the other side of this carpet has it's it's a thicker material than what I'm used to. So it gives the bag a little more structure. It it's not gonna allow the bag to be really sloppy, floppy. So for those of you who don't like a floppy bag, but you're looking for a bag with these materials, I think the thunder is what you're looking for. Now this material may break down some a little more. I don't know. I I've thrown these quite a bit. It's it's broken down some from where I started with it, but it's it's not to the same level that some of those other bags are that have a thinner liner on the inside of it would be i'm speculating now, I, I haven't opened these bags up but to me that's what i that's where i think that stiffness comes from brand new is the liner they're using on the other side of this so it's a it's a it's the full side i would call it a full bag it's it's medium template though but it's a full bag you're going to have some flop to it it's got that mixed fill blended fill in here which gives the bag a lot of movement a lot of bounce makes this bag more active than say the viper r the viper r has more of those flat discs in there the viper r has a floppier more forgiving landing but you also don't have that control. This bag, it's not just for going to land. It's going to kick on you. Watch here. Sometimes, if I'm not landing flat, the bag will kick. It's going to, it's going to. But that kick leads to the cut, right? And that's the 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 kick is an un, is an unintentional cut, as I always call it. These bags are very, very, very good at shot shaping shots. Like I throw cuts with these really well. You can roll and flop these bags. I'm not saying you can't do that with a bag like that, like a floppier bag like the Viper R. But the Viper R is not a great shot shaping bag. You know, to roll that bag, you've got to be on the on a better roll style player if you're learning to roll you're beginning to roll the viper is not a great bag to start with this bag's actually an easier bag to roll it's easy it has that bounce it has that hop it has that movement it has an active feel like you get with more of a, more of a traditional carpet bag but you still got the 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 whole friendliness of this carpet here this hybrid material which allows the bag to kind of drip in the hole and not hang like you would get with a more traditional carpet bag 
Now, the bag being fuller also, it takes away from the forgiveness around the hole. Like those floppy bags are all the time, how well they do at grabbing the hole and, and spinning around and coming in. This bag will do that, but you've got to get more of the bag in the hole, right? If you're getting just a corner in, see how that corner doesn't dip down, but I get more and it does. Where a floppier bag, just a little bit of that corner would dip in and grab. So you've got to be, it's not as forgiving around the hole, but you gain the control. So that's the trade-off you get. The more control you gain, the less forgiveness you get. And it's kind of the trade-off where you got to figure out what's more important to you. Do you want a bag that's more forgiving on the landing, more forgiving around the hole, or do you want a bag that you have more control over for throwing those shots, those those cuts, rolls, flops? That's kind of where you got to, you got to find the balance on these. These bags are also ACL stamp, ACL Pro stamp for 2024. So you play ACL events, you can throw these thunders. Two and jump into playability as I've been talking about that already. And for me, I think this bag, this is this is typically these bags. I, I call them hybrid bags. You can you can run bags in the hole with them, or you can play a dirty style game or anything in between. And I find that they're more of that in between style game where you're throwing an occasional blocker here or there, but you're mostly running the hole. I think these thunder tend to lead more to that dirtier style game. For me, anyway, the way I like to throw these because of the shot shape and the control I have with them, I like to throw more blockers with this bag, and because they're fuller. They don't accordion up like a floppy bag does. So when you put a bag up there, they're pretty easy to clip and, and drag in, pull it. You don't have to get really aggressive and, and come after it. So you can put that bag more on your opponent's side and then come down to your last bag, fast side if you want, clip it and take it in. You don't have to throw a cut, but if you need to, you can. If you miss your landing and go further over, either way, you know, if you're fuller, fuller, further across the board than you want to be when you, when you put your blocker, you can throw a cut grab it and pull it back in. You have that ability with this bag. It gives you more confidence to throw those blockers and not be afraid if you miss because you still know you can go get it. As long as it's not past the hole, you can get it. You get this bag up near the hole. It, it, it's it, As long as it can grab that hole, get enough core to grab it. If it doesn't go in, it, it's going to go in. It's not that hard to collect. The, the mixed fill in here is very hole friendly. It wants to move. It, it wants to drip in the hole pretty well. So if you get a bag sitting there, I didn't have to really get crazy aggressive. Just sliding the bag and clipping it would usually take it right in. But if I needed to, I could come, you know, I could come across the board with a cut or I could step out and clip it and take it in. So the, the bags are definitely collectible in every which way, which gives you, like I said, gives the ability to put those blockers where you want, play a dirtier style game with it. You can also go hole for hole. If you, if you're a player that likes a fuller bag, you just don't like the feel of a floppy bag in your hand. And I get that when I have a floppy bag in my hand, I, it, it, I, I feel like I don't have as much control of how the bag's coming out. This bag, because it's full, when I grab it, I lock it down. I have complete control of it. You can pull this bag out and still go hole for hole and run bags and try to outscore your opponent. You can definitely do that with this bag. I will say again, if you don't throw the flattest of bags, it will kick on you. But if you're consistent with your with your tilt and your angle, it's a controllable it's a controllable kick. So you can adjust that. And and for me, and I mentioned this from other videos sometimes, when I get a bag that has kick to it, sometimes the way to get rid of that kick is I throw an intentional cut. I put a slight tilt one way or the other on my bag so that I know, you know, and I know if I'm if I'm throwing the 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 bag with a left to right movement to it, then I know if I miss, it's going flat. If I hit it, it's going left to right. I'm taking out the right to left so I can adjust my landing and still put the bag and be more consistent, or vice versa. I want to go right to left. I can play that and take out the left to right kick. So when you get a bag that has a little more kick, a little more movement, and active feel like this bag does, that's kind of, if I want to go hole for hole, that's what I do. Is I really had fun throwing this bag. I, for me, I tend to like a floppier bag. So I, I think I would tend to favor some of those floppier versions of these bags. But I do like to throw cuts. I do like a mixed fill. I like a more active fill. And so this kind of gives me that best of the world. This, this, this reminds me more of a more of a traditional carpet bag than it does these hybrid style carpets out there with the way it plays. And, and I do like that. And I can see where this would be a bag that I would put into my arsenal to go throw from time to time. So and it leads me to availability. Reynolds has a website, reynoldsbags.com is the website. You can go on there. Reynolds does a great job keeping bags in stock. It's one of the things that I want to applaud Reynolds for is that they they have bags in stock. They're, they're not, some companies out there kind of create a sense of scarcity by putting limited designs out limited releases not keeping bags in stock and that artificially inflates the prices reynolds is kind of the other way they keep their bags in stock you order them you're getting them for like two to three days i order sort of bags from reynolds depending on what time if i order them early in the morning i'll get them in a couple of days like they're at my doorstep like two or three days later i love that about reynolds and actually the bags are always in stock they usually have a good variety of colorway options they have a few different designs so this is not the standard design this was the snakeskin design so these were 80 bucks for the set the regular design is like 74 for a set it's eleven twenty, I believe, shipping for Reynolds. So I played, I paid uh, ninety, uh, ninety one twenty for these. I think it's like eighty five twenty if you get the regular regular design. So eighty five ninety bucks for a set of ACL state bags, high quality bags shipped to you is a great price. It's kind of on that lower end of price ranges out there. 
And, and I love the fact that Reynolds is keeping their prices reasonable. So people, you know, if you're if you're if you're not sure if you like these bags, you're not, you don't have to spend 140, 150 bucks to give them a try. You can spend 85 bucks to see if you like them, and you're not quite as invested into the set. Um, but anyway, I, I think you're going to like them if you if you like these materials, but you like a full style bag. I think you're going to love these thunders. Give them a try. If you've thrown them, let me know in the comments below what you like, what you don't like. Always love hearing you guys' feedbacks.